Colas, colas, colas for the win. That was a horse name. <laughs> <laughs> that was a horse racer. That was honestly the worst intro you've ever done in six years. Isn't that great? Look, I was. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like when they do this to the horses, I was doing it for myself and I raced against my slipper. <laughs> Now I only got one on. A llama versus a horse. And I, I called it Funny Bunny. <laughs> That's its racing name. <laughs> Kick it out of the way. All right, guys, today I am doing a lunch work meal prep for you guys. One of the trickiest things for me when I was losing weight was coming up with ideas for lunch. No problem with breakfast and dinner. For some reason, lunch was tricky. What I realized it needs to be tasty and easy to prep. So I got a tasty idea to show you and it's super quick and that's what keeps me on track. Easy to prep, wanna love to eat it. I'm out of breath from my horse race. I had a craving for a BLT, so I'm gonna make a BLT wrap and I'm gonna make a BLT salad prep for Kyle because he eats more of his carbs in the morning. So, let's get started. I have the pan preheating for turkey bacon. Let me show you. This turkey bacon is 30 calories per slice and only one gram of fat per slice. So I'm gonna eat two, so is Kyle and we're gonna prep extra for dinner tomorrow. I love to have a cute lunch pail and I always like it big because I like to bring food so that if I get hungry, I have backups and I don't reach for anything that I don't want. And I always prep my water jug when I'm making my lunch because there's no excuse then to not get my water in. And I just carry this with me all day, no matter what I'm doing. And I make sure that I drink almost the whole thing by the time I get home so I know that I got almost all my water in. I love these wraps. The Joseph Labosh wrap, we get them online in Canada. And I'm gonna take one of these and I'm gonna put some Miracle Whip on it, the calorie wise. And this is 30 calories, I think, for like a tablespoon. This has oh. like been Nicole and I's whole weight loss journey is to not ever give up our favorite foods, but to make low calorie versions and not just any low calorie versions, but low calorie versions that are so good that you're not missing out because BLTs, we're not giving those up ever in our whole life. And so yeah, we switch. We used to love bacon like, you know like in Grumpy Old Men where a Burgess Meredith eats like a plate of bacon? Kyle and I literally did that for a snack when we were heavy. And so we switched out our regular bacon to turkey bacon. And really like it tastes amazing. So I'm gonna spread the mayo on. Tablespoon, right? A tablespoon of this. And then I'm gonna just put some salt and pepper because Sassy taught me about seasoning all of the layers. Some salt and pepper whatever to taste. And I'm actually challenging myself because I usually make all my wraps, I pack everything separate because I have a thing with things being mushy, but I'm challenging myself to get over that. So I'm gonna pack the wrap whole and just pack the tomato separate and put that in later. So I'm gonna put a layer of lettuce now. What do you got there, mix? This is a mix. I wanted just romaine, but they didn't have any. So this is romaine, red cabbage, and carrots. And you get a little bit of different variety of veggies there. Yeah. And I'm gonna put some in the container for Mr. Sassy Bear. But I usually just eyeball this and it probably adds up to about two cups of greens. Yeah. And that that way we get we fill we fill up, like our bellies are super full, and then we're not hungry. And like Nicole said, I'm not afraid of carbs. I just have a lot when I wake up in the morning before my cardio, because I like to fuel my hour of cardio with carbs. And little bit before my weight training. That's why I don't have it at lunch normally. And I like to spread mine out more because I like carbs at every meal. So I have a little bit of carbs in the morning and then I have carbs at lunch. 
I'm gonna show, I gotta show the friends this trick when I'm too lazy to go get a cutting board. <laughs> I'm just gonna chop up a little bit of onion. I mean, this is not onion, this is oh. <laughs> I'm losing it's it. It's late, folks, it's been a long I'm day. I'm losing it. Okay, so this is what I do, is I cut it on the container. See that? I'm gonna get yelled at. Don't like. copy anything we do on this <laughs> channel. This is only what we do, don't copy. We're not pros. <laughs> I'm a chef. Don't do this. <laughs> We gotta be honest, right? We're true friends, so we gotta show the friends what we do. I so, think the pan will be ready. I'm just gonna go over there and throw some, how many slices do we want on there? We want two, four, six, uh, eight. We want eight. So we're cooking the bacon, four minutes per side, and we did, we preheated it on medium high heat. Now I got our tomato chopped. I'm just gonna divide half of this. It's about an eyeball of a tablespoon each. So give us each a little bit of tomato to put in there. And then lid these babies up. One for Sass, one for me. Then I'm just gonna put the turkey bacon on top and add the tomato tomorrow. And I'll probably do a little more salt and pepper here. And then I've got the plastic wrap to wrap it up. I want to show you some tricks that I've actually, I've never told you before, but everybody who goes to a workplace knows there are temptations in the workplace. Somebody somewhere is bringing in donuts or cake or whatever to celebrate something or just because they had a craving. Treats are everywhere and I face this pretty much every day I go into work. So I came up with a strategy. I bring tasty things that I really like that are easy to prep and then I always make sure I have something that's a treat. So if people are eating around me donuts and I'm staring at them dreamily wishing I could eat one. So me and Nicole <laughs> love donuts and pizza and all that and we have it, but we don't have it like most people at workplaces have it maybe all daily or three or four times a week. Me and Nicole will have donuts once a month or once every couple yeah. months. Yeah, but like literally today I went in and there was donuts everywhere. So I have something like a protein bar and we're not sponsored by these. We just let, really like the macros and they have a lot of flavors and they're really tasty. To me, it tastes like I'm eating a chocolate bar. So I pack one of these that way when everyone else is eating a treat, I pull this out and I can eat a treat too and not feel deprived. Fun fact, one of Nicole and myself's favorite donuts is coconut, toasted coconut, chocolate or the regular toasted yeah. coconut. Yeah. And look at this, chocolate toasted coconut or chocolate coconut protein bar and it's amazing so I put one of those in there and then I also make sure that I have another treat and you know what I forgot diet pop yeah we got to get a diet I got to get a diet pop I also like to have other treats around like diet pop because it also makes me feel like I'm having a treat. This one is my current favorite. It's the mug diet root beer, diet mug root beer. <laughs> so I put one of those in. I bring a pop to work every day because again, if I'm seeing other people enjoying stuff, I can enjoy a pop, a diet pop, just like they are. And then I bring Sometimes if I'm having extra cravings, I'll bring something like this in one of those coffee travel mugs. This is a sugar-free apple cider. I just boil hot water in the morning and I throw two of these in because they're only 10 calories a package and they're sugar-free. So I just put two of these in, fill it to the top and bring this too. And then I have another treat. And sometimes I'll put like sugar-free French vanilla cappuccino powder in and it's so great. Like I have all these things, treats, diet pop, a protein bar, Yeah, like lunch. we never want to feel like we're missing out on parties. And when no. people gather, they usually bring, like we drink black coffee most days, but we have these treats and then sometimes we'll have some fancy drink. But yeah. if, they're ha if everyone else is having fancy drinks, we want to have some too and yes. stay on our plan. And then I spread it out throughout the day too so that I, I was like, all day I have something to look forward to and it's exciting to get through the day because I keep going to my lunch pan and I'm like, oh, what do I got in here? What do I... I also keep gum in case I do get hungry because when you eat in a calorie deficit, you can stay full eating like low calorie, high volume foods, but sometimes you'll get hungry. So I keep gum and I chew it and it helps with my hunger. I think the bacon's done. It's sizzling. Let's get it. it smells so good. Oh, it does. I'm just going to pat it off a bit. 
we cooked again some for tomorrow's dinner because we're gonna make like kind of BLT pizza thingies. So we're extra bacon. I'm gonna put two on my wrap for tomorrow. There we go. And I'm gonna put two into Kyle's container because he's gonna make a little salad with everything tomorrow. Now let's wrap this baby up. So this is my trick. I fold the bottom up just a little bit and then I go one, close one door, close the another door and fold them over and then it's a good size wrap that's what i love about the joseph lavash and it keeps me full it fills me up because it's big but lower calorie and there we go then i'll just wrap this boy up baby whatever you want to call it and ding i didn't really give enough wrappage no you really oh man this is just awful <laughs> I failed. It's okay. You know what I usually do is I put it underneath, but tonight I didn't. Um, I I made a bobo. Watch this. Who cares? Wrap <laughs> it up and put it in. Okay, so I got everything in there, and then I put my water on the side, and then I just kind of do like one of these for the morning, so that I remember to put the kennel the the kennel. I remember to put the kettle on. Remember to take that out of the package, that, that uh, <laughs> apple cider too. Don't... At this rate, I might forget. <laughs> and that's it. That's my lunch. It is super easy. It only took time to cook the bacon. And if you cook the whole package in advance, then you just freeze it or put it in the fridge and you just pull from it. And that's it. It literally takes like two minutes to make that lunch. It's ready to go. So I have no excuse the next day not to bring a lunch to school and not to stay in my calorie deficit and not eat tasty food. And I can eat when people are eating donuts. I'm like, yeah, look at my protein bar and my muscles at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> so the friends, there we go. We got, if you want a low carb option, Sassy does this and he's probably going to put some Miracle Whip on there tomorrow. Salt and pepper, Miracle Whip. And yeah. salt and pepper. And there, so you've got a low carb option and he also, he'll eat everything else like the protein bar and the diet pop and stuff. Yeah. Guys, that's it. Tasty lunch, tasty treats, fast. You get to eat bacon. What else do we want? Whoa, wow. some windmill action oh, there. windmill of the century. <laughs> if you want to know what we did to lose our first and next 50 pounds, because we lost 130 pounds each and kept it off for six years, we got two weight loss guys down below. Exact portions, meal plans, family from the recipes, it's all in there. We also got two recipes in Greg Doucette's Power 13 cookbook. Check it all out down there. Watch these two videos. And peace and out. See ya. Nicole Colette, she lost 130 pounds, kept it off. Think you can't learn a thing or two from someone like that? You used to have binge eating problems, got rid of them. She lost the weight and kept it off and wait till you try her amazing recipes. Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here, heart and mindset. Fight through it, you can do it, don't give up.